Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. Uh, we had a great time. We ended up spending it with some friends because uh, our family is just all over the place. Um, and uh, also, big news, so I just started hunting last year. So uh, nobody that I know of in my family has been a hunter, you know, for the last, you know, several generations. And uh, last year I shot my first year on our property and, uh, and the day before Thanksgiving, I went out and ended up uh, getting another deer and processed it myself. We've actually got the uh, the whole setup. I've got a chain hoist here in the garage uh, and uh, and ended up processing the whole thing. So it's been an exciting few days. Um, you know, learning some new skills as far as that goes, and I'm really excited about learning more. So as I learn more about hunting and processing game, uh, I, I'd like to do some videos on that topic too. Um, I think hunting is definitely going to be something that I'm going to be doing for a very long time and I'm really excited about having another hobby and another resource for, you know, food. That's the whole reason why I did start hunting. So anyways, uh, I wanted to do a video today based on a question from a longtime viewer, a lowbrow fishing. Um, he ended up asking, what's the difference between a shaky head and a Ned rig, and when do you prefer one over the other? To me, they are extremely similar. And uh, so thank you, first off, Lowbrow Fishing. If you haven't checked out his channel, go ahead and check it out. He's uh, been a long time viewer on uh, Sonar Fishing, so really appreciate him. Uh, but we're gonna break that down because this is something that even I have kind of struggled with is when to throw a, a shaky head, you know, like this one right here. Let's see if we can zoom in here, or at least focus shaky head here uh, versus a Ned rig, which in the last, I'd say eight or nine years has gotten really, really super popular. So that right there is a perfect example of a traditional Ned rig. So uh, the Ned rig uh, and the shaky head are both, you know, jig head style presentations and both of them you can fish them either uh, exposed hook or weedless, depending on the type of tackle you're using and the situations that you want to throw this bait in. So uh, let's kind of dive into it, but before we do, uh, I wanted to go ahead and mention that everything that I'm talking about in this video is available at 44tackle.com. They are my official retailer sponsor, and uh, so if you guys want to get any of this equipment, make sure that you check out 44tackle.com. They are an awesome, awesome online retailer, and then also, if you're down there in Florida, check out their brick and mortar store down there in Inverness. Uh, but um, I'm also going to be putting some links in the uh, description below, and that's going to, uh, you know, send you right to the, the products that I'm talking about. And if you order by using those links, you get 10% off of your order. So check that out in the comments or the uh, description in this uh, in this video. So let's dive into it. So first off, I kind of want to share with you guys the type of Ned rigs and shaky head setups that I use. So first off, let's talk about the shaky head. So the shaky head traditionally, you know, uh, we're generally using, you know, six, seven inch worm, something in that range for what we call a shaky head. And uh, this worm right here, this is a, a new favorite of mine. It's called the SMH Worms. As you can see here, it's got kind of a wider body that tapers down and then gets kind of wide here at the bottom. And so that creates a lot of tail action, uh, a lot of movement, even when this bait is just, you know, kind of sitting still and you're kind of pausing it on the retrieve. But um, as far as the jig head goes, I've got two different jig heads that I like to use. This one right here is the new SMH jig head. This is made by, by Z-Man in, in um, you know, kind of a uh, coordination with with uh, Brian Latimer. They designed this this jig head to be you know very similar to to the the most popular jig heads out there, but different enough that it allows you to do more things with it. Uh, it's got a more bullet sinker style um, you know shape to it, which is gonna come through cover a lot better. So like brush piles, things like that, and it's got the the angle 
of the line tie that is really conducive to you know dragging this on the bottom through like shell beds and things like that. Um, so that's one jig head that I use primarily if I'm fishing around cover because that that SMH jig head really comes through the cover really well. And then the other jig head that I use is a very traditional ball style jig head. All right, this one right here is the Z-Man Shaky Heads. And uh, that one is an awesome, awesome jig head. That one's kind of my hard bottom uh, presentation jig head that I choose. So, you know, if I'm fishing rock, gravel, shell beds, and I'm just dragging this, this, uh, this shaky head on the bottom, the ball head style is really, really good. But as far as the net rig goes, um, this right here is probably my favorite overall package. Okay, so I use a lot of different net rig jig heads from Z-Man. This one right here is the Finesse Shrooms jig head. That's the original one. And then I pair that with the Finesse TRD. That one's my favorite. It's, it's the original. It's the one that when people think of the net rig, they think of a bait just like this. And really they think of the TRD because Z-Man really, um, you know, was the one to introduce the net rig and bring it to the limelight. And uh, so the, the Finesse TRD, man, it's just hard to beat that. I also use some other jig heads with for my, my uh, Ned Rig presentations. You know, the Ned Locks jig head is really good. Uh, the Pro Shrooms is really good. All of those I definitely use um, on, on different occasions depending on what I'm trying to accomplish with these Ned Rigs. Um, and also, you know, kind of going up in size, the other one that I use a lot is the Big TRD. So very similar to the Finesse TRD and the uh, Finesse Shrooms, uh, but instead we've got the, the Power Finesse Shrooms jig head and uh, the big TRD, which is just a little bit bigger. So I do use these two depending on you know what I'm trying to achieve, what I'm trying to imitate. Uh, and those are the two different sizes. All right, so as far as when to use the Ned Rig versus the Shaky Head, uh, really comes down to what, how I'm fishing these, these two different baits. And, and other people may be fishing them completely different, but the way that I fish a Ned Rig is, is a little bit different than fishing a Shaky Head. Uh, when I'm fishing a Ned Rig, I'm generally casting to some type of visible cover or structure, okay? I'm not saying like you're, you're casting deep in the, the center of of some type of cover or structure. Um, you're just, you're just kind of casting around the perimeter. So it's a presentation I'm making a cast and maybe hopping it a few times away from that cover and then reeling it back in and making another presentation. So for instance, casting to a, a bridge piling, you know, or a, um, or a dock piling or, you know, some standing timber or something like that. That is generally where I'm gonna be throwing a Ned Rig uh, versus a shaky head. And the reason for, for this is because, uh, especially when I'm fishing like for smallmouth up north, the Ned Rig has a very, very good fall. It has a, a kind of like a tube-like fall uh, that you, it kind of glides and spirals down to the bottom. And that glide and that the way that it falls is really the attraction for a lot of these fish. So in, and again, I, or I need to state that, that I actually fished a Ned Rig probably in clearer water in general than a shaky head. So that's another, you know, uh, key part of this, this, uh, this formula on which one to choose. But the, um, the, the Ned Rig, I'm gonna be cast into those, those isolated pieces of structure, letting it fall down. Usually they'll eat it on the, the initial fall to begin with. But if they don't, I'm gonna work it just a few hops. And so a, a Ned Rig, I'm generally you know, making small hops, maybe hopping about a foot off the bottom or maybe just a couple inches off the bottom. And I only do that for a short period of time. So a Ned Rig is more of a, you know, a spot casting bait for me. Um, and on the other side of the spectrum, um, there's, there are times when I want to slow drag a worm, okay? And of course you can still slow drag a Ned Rig and a lot of people do it. I even do it on occasion and that's really what the fish want. But 
most of the time, if I'm looking to cast a, a bait out there and drag it, a shaky head does a really good job at this. So uh, I don't really fish it like the term shaky head would imply. I'm essentially casting it out on, on kind of wider pieces of structure. So points, um, you know, uh, big shell beds, uh, or you know rock transition areas these areas where you don't have a specific Exact cast to make but you're kind of dragging your bait through a general area That's where a shaky head is kind of my first choice because it just has a ton of, of Very natural action as you drag it along the bottom especially this, you know new SMH worms So as you drag it, it's kind of the tail is is just shaking along and uh, so it just does a really, really good job of having a lot of just subtle action on the bottom as you drag it. So uh, again, you know, I, I really like to throw a shaky head on kind of more general, large uh, areas that have hard bottom. That's kind of the, the general area I'm, I'm throwing it in. But again, I did talk about throwing a shaky head in like brush piles and things like that. Uh, that's where a shaky head and a Ned Rig will both work. So there's a ton of overlapping situations where both of these would be a good choice. But for me, if I had to pick one situation for each of these that, that I, would, I would choose one over the other, it would have to be the Ned Rig for making casts to isolated structure or cover. Or, and um, for the, the shaky head, casting around general areas where I'm just dragging that bait through the area, trying to find maybe a hard spot, the, you know, maybe there's a little bit a rougher spot, or uh, I'm just trying to cover water and figure out where the fish are and they're kind of dispersed along a large area. So that is how I choose between the two, but really what it comes down to is where you feel confident because both of these are going to accomplish something very, very similar as far as you know the, the type of areas that they're gonna be really good at. So really it comes down to where you feel confident throwing one over the other. So I'm not gonna say that there's any situations where you you would definitely not want to throw uh, one over the other, um, but those are my preferences. So let me know what you guys think about uh, how I fish a Ned Rig versus a Shaky Head. Do you agree? Do you disagree? And what are the situations you make that distinction uh, when you're fishing these two baits? So thank you guys for watching. Thank you Lowbrow Fishing for another comment, another question, and make sure you guys like, share, subscribe. I'm gonna see you guys out on the water. Take care.